Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. In this video we will explore less known volcanic formation in Iceland called Nukar in Icelandic. Nukar mini or baby craters are situated in the municipality of Ulfus on the Reykjanes Peninsula, right outside of the town of Thorlaxhop. Uh, Nukur denotes simply a peak or a cone in Icelandic. So, for example, the highest mountain of Iceland is also called Nukur, Kvanadals Nukur, to be more precise. These small and beautiful volcanic cones are many in number and they cover the summit of a sealed volcano called Selvogs Heidi. On the very top of Selvogs Heidi Shield Plateau, you will find these seven somewhat bigger volcanic cones of peculiar shape along with many more smaller ones. Here we are exploring the eastern cones, or Oyster Nukar in Icelandic. There are three. A bit further west, later in the background, you will see four more similar cones called Vastur Nukar, or the Western Cones. Perhaps we will explore the Western Cones in a volcanic cave that adjoins them during the next trip. Each of the seven cones has a name in Icelandic. Three eastern cones are called Sitsti Nukur, Oistasti Nukur and Vestasti Nukur. Rather unremarkable if to translate southernmost peak, easternmost peak and westernmost peak. While the western four cones are referred as Vastur Nukur, Netsti Nukur, Mid Nukur and Efsti Nukur, western peak, lower peak, middle peak and Upper peak. Between the western and eastern group of craters you will find an ancient trail called Selvox Gata, used by the residents of a fishing community of Selvogur to reach the capital area of Reykjavik by foot or horses. The hike was taken 14 hours. The last time the goods were transported by this trail from Selvogur to Hafnarfjordur was in the late 1940s. Under the Efstanukur Korn seen in the very distance through the video, in the western group of these baby craters, you will find a cave. It is a spacious cave, about 40 meters long and about 15 meters wide. It is smooth on the bottom, but inside the entry there appear to be some pile up. The cave was formed when a large lava bubble exploded. Selvog's high lava field got entirely enclosed by a younger lava flow from a sealed eruption called Haydn Howe some 7500 years ago. Haydn Howe eruption covered about 160 square kilometers with a volume of 10 cubic kilometers. Hence it is hard to estimate the size of the original Selvogsheide lava field. While checking on the subject I saw various estimates ranging between 2 to 6 cubic kilometers. The shield of Selvogsheide is usually classified being part of central volcano of Hangit which stretches for 60 kilometers, though the enclosing lava field of Haydn Howe belongs to Brennistedt's Fjord volcanic system. The southeasternmost part of Selvogsheide volcanic plateau is called the Hills of Itinerant Women, Kvenu Gungu Holar, as from this elevation the pious pilgrims in Catholic period could observe the miraculous Kaldadarnes cross, which was believed to have healing powers, even when looked upon from a distance. Kaldadarnes cross had been destroyed during the Reformation. Around the year 1550, a poem was written about it called Quaidium Kalernes Crossing, or the Ode to the Kalernes Cross. The poem starts with the plea, I ask men to listen, in Kalernes there is a cross, I want to recount that for men nothing could be more glorious, its glory shines widely, people across both land and sea praise the cross. It will rightfully stand forth when the devils begin to whine. The cross is so powerful that even the devil retreats in its presence. The old Icelanders believed that being created in Rome uh, made it divine. 
There are numerous miracles associated with this cross. A boy from Soithold Farm was found dead in a deep pit. His mother knelt before the cross and pleaded for his life back. Immediately after, after she pleaded, the boy stood up full of life. Acknowledging the miracle, the mother praised the divine cross. Um, on the other occasion, the cross uh, also healed the crippled and the blind. It raised animals from the dead and eased physical pain. There are numerous stories associated with this cross in Iceland. In 1547, the Lutheran bishop of Skalholt, Gizur Einarsson, rode his horse to the Kalderness church and tore down the cross and set it aside. Out of respect, he chose not to destroy it. He got back on his horse to ride back home to Skalholt. On his way home, he became ill and was sick all that winter. He never completely recovered and died the same year during the land from the same illness. So this cross was visible from this elevation and hence the name, the hills of itinerant women. The craters are rather easily accessible from Reykjavik by road 380. The asphalt ends at Icelandic Glacial Mineral Water Plant and then it's another 10 minutes drive by a rather good gravel road suitable for most of cars, though it is better to have a jeep. Icelandic road authorities classify this road as a highland road, but in reality it is not, as elevation in its highest path is only 165 meters. And what one would never realize that he is driving through a highland. I recommend visiting Nukar craters along with Arnarker lava tube, which is halfway to the craters after you pass the plan. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the footage. I wish you all the best, peace and blessings from Nukar craters, Iceland. <laughs>